Hey everyone, happy Sunday and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie and today we're going to be starting a weekly installation that I'm really excited about. It's going to be a weekly sort of either a little casual knit with me if I don't have any like big updates. So it'll be like a knit and chat with me or it will be a podcast style vlog video where I'll talk about my um, recent acquisitions, my finished objects, and my works in progress. And this will be for both knitting and for sewing because the, both are a big part of this channel and a big part of what I love to do. So before we get into all of that, if you are not yet subscribed, I would really love if you join this community. It's a space where I share everything about hand making my wardrobe. So again, whether that's knitting, sewing, in general, other textiles, that's what I do here. And I would love to have you along on my me made wardrobe journey. Now let's get into my finished objects for, I guess, the first finished objects of 2022. The first one is, well, one of them was finished in 2022 and the other one was finished in 2021. And it's these socks. Specifically, this one was finished in 2022. Sorry, this one was finished in 2021 and this one was finished in 2022. And I know this because these are definitely sisters, not twins. Um, this one was the first sock that I ever made. And so I gifted this partner, my partner, this single sock for Christmas. And he was really excited about it. And it was really nice to give someone something that I made for the first time. Um, well, at least something that I knitted for the first time. But it's, there's like, there's some flaws. For one, for some reason, the top is quite uh, stretchy. I think maybe my tension wasn't that great in comparison to this one where it's a bit tighter. I think my tension was just off between the two, uh, especially because this was, like I said, my first time making socks and this one I had already done one and I kind of got the pace together. But I loved making socks. This is a really fun project. Um, I definitely feel inspired to make more socks. The yarn is um, Madeline Tosh uh super wash merino sock yarn with a little bit of nylon it's got this like really lovely variegated color and it was just uh lovely to work with it washed up really nicely so i, I washed and dried both well, actually i washed both of them together and then i dried the bigger one in the dryer and it did shrink maybe a tiny bit but probably not all that much still he really likes them and i'm super excited to have this like little pair of socks and to make more socks so that would I would say is like the biggest finished object that I have the other two are much smaller I've been definitely focusing on knitting and my sewing has just kind of taken a bit of a back seat so because I've been focusing on knitting I made these two little project bags they're both out of scrap yarn and they're both linen this is like a hemp linen hemp cotton and this is I think 100% linen both from scrap both from projects that I have finished last year and I'll start with this one so this is going to be the pan cardigan from Sari Nordland and I'm making it in the super soft marine or the super soft merino or and super fine fine silk mohair oh my god I am butchering those names but again I'll link everything in the description but these are the two together. I have them the yarn wrapped around the, the balls because I had to frog a bunch. And so this is what I have done. But you can see these are the two together. The color is nougat brown. And honestly, it's just a really beautiful yarn. I, I've knit with this combination before. I mean, at least the yarn combination. And it's just always a joy. To work with it's so soft so it feels so luxurious and nice and also, honestly the color is perfect and i'm so excited for this cardigan i do have to go out today and get some more needles because i forgot that this uh, my needles my um interchangeable needle set broke and so i have to replace it um just specifically the number us six needle point so i think i'm gonna go do that today and then I will continue to work on that. And yeah, I just made this little project bag for it. It's very simple. I believe it's technically called like a, a bento bag. I'm not sure what the 
if there's like an authentic name for it, but I know it's a, a Japanese style of um, of bag that I've seen all over the internet. So that's this one. And then this one is a little bit bigger, or quite a bit bigger actually. And I have been working on this beauty. Let me, there we go. So this is sweater number nine by My Favorite Things Knitwear. And it is glorious. I love this pattern. It's so quick. It's such a quick knit. I honestly, it's quicker than I even expected. And I love the increases over here. You can see the lines. Oh, it's just like, it's so pretty. Let me, let me make sure you can see it. It's, it's so pretty. I, if you're looking for like a quick knit and a beginner friendly knit, I highly recommend this one. She also specifically states that this is a beginner friendly pattern and the instructions are written well enough that you could tackle this as a first um, sweater project. And it's not super bulky. I find I don't really love big bulky bulky sweaters, but it's like, you know, chunky enough. Um, and I think it's so pretty. I'm knitting it with Knitting for Olive uh, Heavy Merino, this one, and their Soft Silk Mohair, again, this one, in the color Marzipan. It's like, um, oh, what is the, it's, kind of, it's a beige, I guess, but it's kind of like a gray beige, like a more cool tone beige. It's so pretty. I, I'm really, really excited for this. It kind of comes across as, across as a bit of like a, like a grayish, grayish, that like kind of mushroomy color. Oh, I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this project. It knits up so fast. I just cast on maybe on Thursday or Friday, and I've already come this far. And it's not like a ton, but you know, we're almost, I'm almost done with the yoke. And then I'll separate the sleeves. So that's this guy. I just, I'm going to put that back into the little project bag. And yeah, the project bags are also another finished object for 2022 um, because I just wanted something to sew really quickly and kind of have that instant satisfaction. And it happened. So I just literally just made these yesterday and um, I'm really enjoying just putting my projects in them. I've never really done a project bag before, so it's nice to just have something that I know I can like put my stuff in and then put it away. So I'm very happy for that. Um, and then what else do we have in terms of works in progress? So those were the two. That was the pan cardigan I mentioned and sweater number nine. Ugh, my next work in progress is honestly have been, it's been my nightmare. This is a sewing, uh, sewing work in progress. It is the Burt sweater from Style Arc. And if I ever say that I want to make another Style Arc pattern again, just come at me in the comments because I, I won't do it. They're awful. At least this one's awful. And I've heard from other people that they're really hard to follow. The instructions are incomplete. They don't give you, I've had to unpick so many times because they just don't tell you the proper way to do things. And like I've I put the collar in on the wrong side and like I know how to do a collar, but I thought that it, this would be the way to do it. And then it, it's not because it doesn't tell you how to sew the collar on. It just says sew the collar on and it assumes a lot of knowledge. And it's not like it's an intermediate pattern. I think it's like an advanced beginner or like they say like medium difficulty. So I don't know. That just kind of doesn't sit right with me. So this one's on timeout. I had a lot of trouble with the placket the button pocket here because again they didn't say how to do it they just said do it <laughs> they literally the instructions literally say so like so the button so the anyways i'm just gonna move on because this is getting me heated to talk about because i'm so frustrated with this sweater yeah this one time out time out for you which is a bummer because I really wanted like a nice comfy scent. I was gonna make matching pants. This is what it's supposed to look like. So cute, right? So so cute. Kind of rugby style, but anyways, that's okay. We're moving on. Um, next up 
is acquisitions. So I have more of these than I do of whips and of finished objects. So more knitting for olive mohair because I am obsessed. And this is the double Sunday yarn from Sandness Garn. This is in the color camel. It's very pretty, very standard camel color. It's quite nice yarn. I've never worked with Sandness Garn before. And then trench coat in the mohair. So pretty, so pretty. Looks even prettier in, in person than it did on the website. Now, the issue here is I don't know what to do with this. It was a bit of an impulsive purchase and I'm not going to buy any more of it because I'm on a buying ban for until my birthday at the end of February because you're going to see there's a lot of stuff that is here that I have to work with. Um, and so the idea was to make a balaclava, but it's just not going to happen. It's not enough. It didn't buy enough. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought that this would be enough. And then I realized, I looked at my balaclava pattern and I was like, oh wait, this is 100% not enough yarn. Um, so I'm thinking instead I might make either like just a cute little casual cowl to go underneath coats or even to go underneath like shirts and have them shirts buttoned up and have a little like sweater cowl neck underneath or to do... Um, the uh, my favorite things knitwear scarf the like bandana scarf that looks super freaking cute so i might end up doing that um i don't know but i do like this combo a lot it kind of works with my wardrobe and the colors i'm working with so i don't know let me know what you think if there's any pattern suggestions you have i like the idea of the scarf but also a little cowl would be cute so let me know what you think and then i will see I'll see where we end up. But it's so pretty, look at these colors, they're so pretty. Okay, down you go. And then next up I have this, this is crazy. I don't know what possessed me to buy this, but it's a blue and black and white gingham. And I was thinking of doing like a, like a, like a, um, Oh my god, I'm blanking. Clueless. Like a clueless style suit. And I honestly, I still want to do that. Like a little skirt and oversized blazer. Maybe like the Heather skirt. Sorry, the Heather blazer and a little skirt, matching skirt. That's very cute. So maybe that's the, that's the general direction for this. Um, but I have a lot of it. This was gifted to me. And I'm going to do a whole like Instagram post on it once I make whatever I decide to make with this. So that's coming up. This is not like a necessarily new acquisition, but because I'm making, let me show you these together. They're so pretty. Because I'm making this, and I have this fabric. I'm thinking of doing like a little, like a button up shirt. Or maybe like, um, like a really light breezy, like a lighter version of like an Ilford jacket. Something just like really boxy to wear with this specifically, I think would be really cute. Or even just a boxy shirt. I'm not sure. Um, but I just love these together. Ugh, it's such a nice color combo. So anyways, I'm going to put this back into here so I don't get it all tangled up. Um, but yeah, again, if for any of these fabrics or yarns I show you, if you have any suggestions, let me know because I'm very open to hearing what you think because clearly I don't have any plans for any of them. Next up is this, yeah, I hope you can see it. It's a kind of houndstooth, but also a, it's really dark and I feel like it's just getting darker, but I wanted to film this today. Uh, so I'm sorry if there's some frantic energy. I'm just trying to like get out <laughs> the projects right now. Um, so, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is thrifted. I got this for so cheap and it is a blue and black gingham, but it also has checks. I really hope you can see it. Um, it's really nice. I think it's wool. I'm gonna do a burn test to check if it's wool, um, just cause I wanna know. 
Uh, it's not itchy at all, so maybe there's it's mixed with something, but I would love to do like um, a wool trouser out of this, but then I'm also thinking maybe like um, a jumpsuit would be really pretty in kind of a unique way to use this sort of suiting fabric. Um, yeah, I've, I've kind of, I'm like really leaning towards a jumpsuit, but I also really like the idea of like a really nice pair of trousers. But then the other fabric that I have I think would be really sweet for a pair of trousers is this houndstooth. Again, kind of a houndstooth gingham. There's a weird theme here. Um, this is cord and is also thrifted. It's blue and green and beige and a lighter blue. Literally all the colors of my wardrobe. So I think this would be sick with a pair as a pair of as a pair of pants. Like yeah, like a high waist trouser, maybe a little kick flare. A friend recommended that to me. Mm. Yeah, I'm really feeling this. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. And then I've got a few things that I thrifted, but I'm not going to share that in this video because I'm going to do a separate video because one of them needs to be thrift. Two of them need to be thrift flipped. Maybe all three of them actually need to be thrift flipped. So that might be a whole other separate video because that was one of my goals for 2022 is to do more thrift flips and I achieved that. So I've got a lot of work on my plate, a lot of things I want to make. All I feel like doing, I feel like I have like a fiber on my lip. Yeah, all I really feel like doing, sorry, I got distracted by a squirrel. They're always very active outside this window. I feel like I'm I'm providing very chaotic energy right now. I'm sorry if that is not what you need on this Sunday. But I'm going to close it here because I just am losing light constantly. I'm going to go knit because that's all I want to do lately. And then maybe I'll get the strength and energy to sew something. Realistically, I won't though. So... That's it for today, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. There will be a video on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Sorry, there will be a video today, today is Sunday, and then there will be a video on Wednesday. So stay tuned for Wednesday. And that's going to be, I think, the schedule going forward. We're going to do like a Sunday catch-up video or just like a knit with me, casual knit with me, depending on... A lot of things mostly I think depending on how many things I finished or I have purchased so it'll either be a knit with me or it'll be a vlog sorry a podcast and then the Wednesday video will be kind of like core content like tutorials or um what other kind of pattern recs and how to how to's and planning videos and all that good stuff so thank you again for being here i'm sorry this was such a crazy and rambly video let me know if you are digging this idea of a two upload a week schedule i think i'm, I'm feeling it but you know i'm open to hearing what you think especially if this is going to be one of the two types of videos going forward and i would love to see you on my other platforms tiktok instagram all that good stuff linked below and I hope you have a lovely week. I will see you on Wednesday. Goodbye. Mwah.